morning everyone how are we all doing um, on my Tuesday morning or Tuesday daytime run today I'm down in um, a place called Foy it's spelled F-O-W-E-Y um, I'm actually down in a little hamlet or a little village just outside Foy called Golan Golan G-O-L-A-N-T um, just delivered to a customer a bit of a walk up a hill quite steep um, now I'm heading back into Foy I've got two or three drops in Foy and then I've got one more left in Par, which is down the road, not far from me this morning. Um, and it's back for lunch, and then I'll uh, see what joys we've got this afternoon. Um, nothing really to update on the job. I'm still doing this. Uh, I did all day Tuesday, I do Wednesday evening, and I do Friday evening. Uh, I pick up the odd Sunday evening as well. I'm starting to get a little bit busier now. As we roll towards Christmas, people are ordering a lot more booze and stuff, so it gets a bit more, the trays get a bit heavier. Um, it's interesting because some of the drivers I work with use the barrow all the time, and others don't use it much at all. Um, when I first started, I didn't use the barrow, but I am 62 and I do find the barrow a lot easier, and it saves, you know, um, it only takes a few seconds actually to. Um, unload the bar barrow and then uh, I've just got to stop now because there's a car here, BM BMW driver, I shouldn't say about BMW drivers because he doesn't know what she's doing so and she's uh, and she got round well, better driver than I thought she might be but you know very good very good impressed actually it might be a local um, yeah it's a uh, little narrow lane that I'm down and I've drive back up to the main road it's, it's not too bad to be honest uh, there's plenty of passing places it's a bit of a sod can be a bit of a difficult place to do at night and dark in the dark when the tight we have to drive along the seafront there the harbour front well it's just the sea the harbour front and at high tide some high tides the sea comes over the road so the road's sort of blocked off with sea water you, I know some people do go through it but um I don't think I'll take the chance because there's quite a little drop off beside it so I don't think I'd bother doing that to be honest with you. Um, also it's seawater, I don't want to get that in when I'm out working in the, in the vehicle and whatever in the engine compartment and cause a problem while I'm out so yeah. Um, I've had a few comments, great stuff to get some comments and feedback, people obviously asking questions about the job, what it's like etc. Yeah, it's, it's a good little job. I don't mind it at all. I, like I say, it's not my background. I first started driving, I'm um, 62 now. I was, I was 21, 22. I started driving vans and stuff like that. Then I went on to HGVs and I joined a big company, BOC Gases. And I, was, I remained there for 29 years. Uh, stayed driving HGVs for about eight or nine years. And then I moved into transport management and did other various jobs within BOC um, and then I was semi-retired down to Cornwall, moved down to Cornwall five, six years ago and I've been doing this sort of job, little part-time jobs ever since. I worked, you know, I worked for Morrisons for a while and Tesco so I sort of can give a comparison. They're pretty much both similar to be fair. There's not a lot of difference in the types of runs the shift patterns are, the shift patterns are a little bit different to Tesco's to, than they are to Morrison's or Sunshine but yeah um, the, the basics the loading's a little bit different but pretty much the same sort of thing trays and trays of food delivered to people's homes you know it's the way it is uh, living in court working in Cornwall as well summertime can be really busy obviously with the traffic and also you get a lot of holiday people down here having orders so uh, deliveries can get a bit heavy in the summertime but it's nice being out in the sunshine winter time is not so nice um, but generally the, light, the loads are lighter although we'll get busy again now and we roll towards Christmas um, down in down in Cornwall I guess in many other parts of the UK it's just a case of taking your time driving slowly suit the road conditions really that's all I can say so anyway it was just a little blog I thought I'd do a quick one um, today on a Tuesday because I don't really get a chance to do 
many at night now because obviously it's too dark in the cab. So, um, and I am hands free. I'm not. I'm not um, using the phone or anything when I'm driving. So I've got a camera on the go on there. It's hands free. So yeah. Anyway, take care. Drive safely. I hope you get on with the job. If people take take the job on, enjoy it. Um, if I can I help you, please feel free to. Uh, ask me questions, subscribe, uh, do some other stuff on the little channel. It's only a bit of fun, I don't do it for any reason, it's just a bit of, it's my, my, uh, my videos really. Some of them are rubbish, some of them are not so good, some of them are a bit better than others. I'm trying to improve the quality, but hey ho, that's, that's me. All right mate, all right guys, take care, speak to you soon, bye bye.